Hi everyone, I'm Mike, a South Florida firefighter here with Drone Nerds and today we're gonna take a look at my pre-flight checklist and what I like to do to get my drone in the air quickly and safely. Stay tuned. For today's demonstration, I'll be using the DJI Air 2S drone. Whether I'm using a consumer drone, an enterprise drone, or a different manufacturer, it's not gonna change that much on my pre-flight checks. I still need to make sure I go through my checklist to get in the air safe and complete my mission. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do before even getting out in the field is to make sure all your batteries are charged and your RC is charged. You don't wanna get out to where you're flying and realize you have batteries that are half full and an RC that is not ready to go. Another thing I do before even getting out in the field is to make sure I have everything I need packed in my drone bag. All the extra batteries, the extra cords, the charging cables, ND filters, and an SD card. I wanna make sure that SD card is in the drone. If I need an extra one, I pack it with me. Extra blades, anything I need for when I get out in the field, I'm prepared for any kind of situation or scenario. Okay, we've gotten to the location where we wanna fly. There's a couple things that I look at before even getting in the air. One of those is the battery. When I'm putting the battery in the drone, I wanna make sure it's free of any warping or cracking. I had a time where I had a battery that I clicked in the drone and didn't realize the bottom of the battery started to swell from sitting for too long in between flights. It could have very easily popped out of the drone and fallen from the sky. The very next thing I do after checking the battery is check my blades or my props. Not only do I wanna make sure are they inserted in correctly, according to the manufacturer, I wanna make sure they're free of any cracks, dings, or cuts. It's just only gonna affect how the drone flies. We've checked our drone battery and we checked the blades and we think we're ready to go. We have an SD card inserted in if we're gonna do any recording and we're ready to fly. Hopefully we're in an area like I have behind me that's a nice open field, clear of any overhead obstructions, trees, power lines, any of that where when you take off, you're gonna limit yourself into getting into any problems. The next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do before taking off is turn on the drone, turn on the RC, and link up. So the drone's on, the RC's on, I'm using DJI again, I just linked up, and I'm gonna to wanna to check and confirm that my battery is full. So I'm gonna glance up to the top of the screen and I can confirm that the battery is fully charged. The next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is make sure I have a good connection between the RC and the drone by looking at my bars where it says RC at the top. Then over to the right, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure I have good satellites. I have found with DJI drones, eight satellites is about the magic number to take off safely and have that drone hover in place. Right now, I have 15 satellites, so I'm pretty comfortable with that. The next thing I'm gonna to wanna to check is to make sure I'm not in any restricted airspace areas, warning zones or no-fly zones. So on the DJI drone, I'm gonna click on the bottom left to make sure I'm not in any shaded blues or yellows. It looks like I'm in the clear, so I can take off normally and fly the mission. Okay, another thing I take a quick glance at is my return to home settings. I wanna make sure I have it set right and I have the correct return to home settings. Right now I have a static home point, meaning if I take off right here, my drone flies, the drone's gonna return if something goes wrong to the area that I took off. If I know that I'm moving around, car, boat, gonna land the drone somewhere from where I took off, I can make it a dynamic home point by clicking the little person icon on the remote controller, which means it's gonna follow the remote controller and me, basically. Okay, so I've made sure the drone is linked up. It has good battery. The RC is linking with the drone itself. The satellites are good, and my home point settings are correct. The next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do and go through is the safety settings. The most important safety setting before we take off and fly the mission is actually the obstacle avoidance. So on the DJI drones, up in the upper right, the three little dots, I'm gonna click on that and make sure 
my obstacle avoidance is set the way I want. It's going to be personal preference. If I'm flying around a lot of obstacles, trees, buildings, power lines, I'm gonna wanna make sure that's all turned on. If I'm flying over open ocean and I wanna fly the drone a little bit faster, I'm gonna make sure it's turned off. The next thing I'm gonna to wanna to take a look at on the safety settings is my max altitude, my max distance, and my auto return to home altitude. I wanna make sure my max altitude is set the way I want it. If you think you're gonna forget and you wanna limit how high the drone can go, this is where you do that. Then you have your max distance. I have mine set to no limit. If you don't wanna to fly to a certain area and you wanna limit how far away you fly, this is where you can do that. The other thing to check is the auto return to home altitude. What is that? That is if you hit your return to home button, your drone is gonna fly a certain height to come home. You would wanna change this if you're over a mountainous area, over a jungle, over areas with tall buildings. You're gonna want the drone to fly up to that altitude where you set, and then it's gonna fly home at that altitude before it comes down. So every situation is gonna be different. The next thing I take a quick glance at is my camera settings and my general camera settings. On this DJI drone, I have normal color D-Log if I'm making high-end videos and it basically gets the most information out of your drone and then an HLG color profile. So I take a look at that. Everyone's gonna be different on what they wanna do as far as recording and camera, but I take a quick glance at that before I take off. Another thing I take a look at on the drone camera is the video resolution and the frames per second. On this particular drone, I a lot of the times like to maximize the potential at the 5.4K at 24 or 25 frames per second, or I go down to the 4K at 60 frames a second. If I'm doing on something on social media or I don't care about the resolution, I can go down to 1080. Every user is gonna be different, but it's something to check before you fly. Also, if you have any ISO settings on your drone or exposure settings, now's the time to check that real quick to make sure your camera is gonna be fully in tune before you get in the air. Another pre-flight thing I like to check before even getting out to the field is a firmware update. You don't wanna get out to the field and realize there's a firmware update and spend the time and burn the battery to do that update. Okay, to recap, before you even leave the house, make sure you have all the items for your drone packed and ready to go. Make sure the firmware is updated and make sure the batteries and RC is charged. When you get out to the field, make sure the blades are free of any nicks or damage, the drone itself is free of any damage, and the batteries don't have any swelling or any damage to them. Then when you link up to the remote controller, make sure you have sufficient number of satellites, make sure the battery is fully charged, make sure your safety settings, including your return to home, is ready to go, and make sure you are in any non-restricted airspace. Those are some of my pre-flight checks that I do before every mission. This has been Mike with Drone Nerds demonstrating some of the pre-flight checklists that I like to do before taking off the drone. Whether it is making sure your batteries are fully charged, firmware updates, safety settings, not being in a restricted flight area, any of these can make for an easier, safer drone mission. If you have any further questions or comments, leave them below or contact us at experts at dronenerds.com. Once again, I'm Mike, happy flying, stay safe, have a nice day.